We've been playing Forza Motorsport 6. We're going to be on the track Lime Rock. We're going to be driving the Lexus IS 350F Sport. So, let's get started. Let's see if we can beat this guy that's driving a, I believe, a 02 or 34 Skyline. Let's see if we can beat him in this car. This is a drift battle for rivals. So you see if we can beat him. So I gotta get 23 or higher. I'm um, at 23,000 points to beat him. First time driving this car. Ah, oh, I went into the grass. I'm running cl clutch and manual at the same time. Ah, oh, I just lost all of those points. I might have to buy me a Skyline. Put a rear wheel drive swap into it and do this. If I could use my man, I would be able to beat him, but I can't. It's only A class, the man's B class. Time now, I might have to do some customizations on the tuning. Too wide. A little first person action for you guys. Those points in that count, I didn't hit the grass or anything. We're gonna have to add a little bit more power to it or something. Just so I can hold this a drift longer. Okay. Now let me finish the race for a second. Put more power into it just a little bit. As you can see, that was my first time driving a Lexus because I wasn't even 
a level one of Alexis class. Okay, let's go back to upgrade. There's really nothing too much I could do. I think 500 horsepower would be good. Alright, I think that's good. Hopefully I can still use the car due to the requirements of rivals and Lime Rock. As you saw, I said GMC. And the right hand corner. That means that was the band. That was the best score I could do with the band, but I can't use it because it's B class. If I could upgrade it or to at least A class, I would use it right now and be able to beat this guy. This car looks nice when it's just low actually. Why did it kick out right there? Oh yeah, it does. It just definitely wants to kick out more now. The tire setup I'm running on here is street tires. I have it as wide as possible on the back, and then the front as wide as possible. So it actually feels pretty comfortable. I usually use Riley tires, but this is a Horizon. I, mean, I can use Riley tires. It's not bad. 13, almost 14,000 for the first lap until I get a hang of this car. Now I'm running around the same speed he was, except I went too wide again. Oh, hit the wall. Oh, well, just hit the wall. I know I think I forgot. Whoops, didn't mean to hit the camera. I think I know what I did wrong. Give me a second, I'm adjusting the camera. Because I accidentally hit it. There we go. I know what to do now. I'm just gonna do a really fast tune. If you guys wanna copy it, comment down below and I'll let you guys copy my tune if you want for drifting. It's good, I can hold a drift, it just all depends on what car I use. It's like in real life, if you use a certain car, you're not used to it, you're not gonna be able to slice you good. Oh, wow. I might have to fix that real fast because I don't want to slide. Okay, now let me go fix this for a second because I don't want to slide. I don't want to put too much angle in and all the angle goes and I lose grip when I'm transition. When I go the other way. Still, again, I don't know what's going on. I hope it has nothing to do with the tires in the front. Because I put 40. Yes, hi.
This is the reason why I put 40 PSI, because I can hold it. Better. Maybe I'll put a roll cage in here. I think that's my problem. Reverse entry? That was actually a clean one too. Fifteen thousand. There we go. Come on, I can do this. Ah, uh -huh. I just wanted to left up so bad right there. All right, let's try one more time. I'm gonna go put the roll cage in. So, hold on just for a second, please. Sorry about that, my dog. Decides to bark, and you can hear it in the video, which I don't want that to happen. So let's go back, put a roll cage in here, and hopefully be able to beat him. If not, I'm gonna try my best to beat him next time. I'm only putting a roll cage in for now, so that way it helps me when I drift. Then I'm gonna take it out because I don't like roll cages in my cars. Especially if it's a four door. If it's a two door, I can understand. Like, a Miata, of course. You want a row cage in it because if that thing rolls, you want to keep yourself safe. But the four door car, you want a four door car for use for family or if you have other friends or something you want to take with you. And if you have a row cage in there, only really two people can fit because of how the row cage is set up if you have a full one. Like I just put it in, this, in the Lexus. Now, would I ever put a roll cage in this car if I had it in real life? Absolutely not. So, real same thing. Like I said, only two doors. Or if I had like a dri uh, drift spec car. There we go, come on. I think that was my problem. I hope I can beat this guy finally. Oh, I hit the wall. I knew that was going to happen. This is so ja damaged for some reason. I have simulation damage on, but for some reason it's not showing any. No, I'm not going to shift yet, so don't worry. Lag spike for some reason. I'm gonna try one more time and see if I can beat him. I'm coming in a little too hot. Hopefully, I can get at least 6,000 right here. Because if I can do that, I think I can beat this guy. That's not bad. Huh, why did it not count? No, don't lose it. Oh, I lost 4,000 points. Man, that sucks. Hold oh, on, sorry, I'm just trying to burn the tires up right now. Come on, car. I don't know what just happened right there. That was not me. 
just didn't want to go that way for some reason. Well, I'm gonna call that a day. I'm trying to beat this R34. I will get you soon, one day R34. But for now, I'm gonna call it a video. I'm gonna try my best to tune it best as possible so that way I can beat the score 23,628. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera now. Trying to make it closer enough for you guys to see. So, hopefully, I can beat him next time. Oh, no wonder! This is S class. Mine's A class. Okay. I'll do some more modification to my Lexus and I'll be able to beat him in no time. So, thanks for dropping by today, you guys, on uh, Forza Motorsport 6 video. There's gonna be more ri rivals, uh, chip sessions coming soon. Next time, we're gonna try to take down Dr. Tomcat. Wait, not Dr. Tomcat. Dr. Tom, I believe that's his name. We're gonna try to get him down in one of the rivals that I have set. It's gonna be hard because of the points you have. You guys will see you next time I make a video. So, see you guys in the next one. Bye.